Hello and welcome to the preview show. I'm Jed Mills and joining me this week is Seasiders midfielder Lewis Fiorini. Lewis, welcome to the show. First of all, um, how, how are you? Because obviously we saw you against Stoke that first half, um, rested midweek, but are you all okay and everything good? Yeah, good to be fair. Came through it all good. So um, yeah, I was saying it was a bit strange to play the first half rather than obviously come back into the squad and be on the bench. But obviously on a personal note, it was nice to be back out there and get a start. and. I've recovered well from it and hoping to go again on Saturday. Yeah, that's really good. I think most people, as you say, were um, when seeing you on the starting sheet and then the way we started that first 15 minutes against Stoke. I don't know, were you surprised how much of the ball you were getting and just how much you were opening the play or did you think that was going to happen? No, to be fair, yeah, it was. Obviously, I, I, to be honest, I didn't know what to expect yeah. going into the week. I, I didn't expect to start the game. So obviously getting the news that I was, obviously I was excited and obviously... I was a bit uncertain of how it was going to go because it had been so long since I played, but like you said, the first 15 minutes was good. I managed to obviously have a hand in the goal yeah. as well. And obviously it's a shame we couldn't keep it on and keep the pressure on, but the position we're in when we go ahead, it's kind of the instinct is to protect rather than go and get the second. Listen, yes, we've got three points. That's all that mattered in that yeah, exactly. game, wasn't it, yeah. to be honest? But yeah, rested, as you say, all kind of um, just making sure you're all right. So, I mean, because had you been in the development squad squad before and just playing a few games that's yeah. why it's not the same is it well, as, as to be fair game. yeah i only had 45 minutes there as well and that was <laughs> three days before the stoke game right wow so obviously yeah that was on the wednesday and then obviously on the front on the friday the gaffer was like are you ready to start and i was like yeah of course so, yeah, you're not so yeah that, it was you? straight in so good yeah. good so yeah for you fully fit fully ready for potentially this weekend yeah see what happens obviously over the next few days but yeah i'm fit and I'm ready so good yeah. what's it been like the it's sort of the setbacks. I suppose it's been frustrating for you because, again, fans here, we'd seen you, everyone mm. like, again excited about what, what you could do. Everyone yeah. saw it on the Saturday, you know, in yeah. that first opening sessions. And But these injuries must have just been yeah. really frustrating. No, it has been difficult. It's, it was more the fact of when I first did it, it was kind of a timeline was set and then it was just felt like it kept getting pushed back further and further for whatever reason. And then around, obviously, the World Cup period, I came back trained for two weeks, felt good, was ready to obviously make a return. And then a few days before return, I had another setback, which pushed mm. it back again. And obviously, before I knew it, it was mid-February before I played a game. So, obviously a lot longer than anticipated, but I'm just happy to be back now. Yeah, and, and mentally, it must be pretty tough, that, is it? Yeah, it is tough. And I think, um, I mean, just come to the club as well, obviously not really... Obviously, I was, I was settled in the group yeah, when I was yeah, playing, yeah. but obviously you're still a new face. And then when you're away from the training pitch, you're just in the gym for however many months. Obviously, it's difficult to feel like at home. Mm. Um, but yeah, mentally it's tough. But obviously, I've had injuries in the past, so I kind of knew how to deal with it. And yeah, thankfully got through it. And because of the loan as well, it's, you, you, you know you have long to impress, do you? You know that limited time and stuff. Yeah, exactly. And in my previous loans, obviously, thankfully, I've never had an injury. I've had the full season to obviously show what I can do and obviously try and get myself a move for the following season. But it's obviously this, this year I've only played six appearances so far. We've only 13 left. Obviously, I'm not going to... Obviously, if I feature in all them games, I still only maybe hit 20. So it's not a lot, but hopefully between now and May, I can have an impact and help us stay in the league need the impacts don't we as well like I say it's I mean this must be for you you, you're coming from a club that wins everything (laughs) you know it is totally different in it but for you it must be again a a brilliant challenge now that you know I say what you did on Saturday you must feel confident thinking yeah I'm I'm ready yeah like you say it's not something I've really been involved in like a relegation battle but obviously we are where we are now we we know what like we're up against and what we have to do Um, so yeah, it's been tough, obviously watching on, you know, when you're from afar and when we're struggling and I can't really make an impact where I think I could, where I could help if I was fit and healthy, obviously. Now I am back and fit and ready to help, so hopefully I can do that. What has the parent club city been like when you've been away? Do they sort of keep an eye on you and sort of keep in touch with you? Do you go back to them for treatment? How, how does all that work? Yeah, they are, obviously, they do oversee it. I think initially when I first got injured, they kind of like let Blackpool get on with it and deal with me and then it was more after I had the reoccurrence in November City kind of took control and it was maybe at Blackpool three days a week then at City mm-hmm. for the other half um, just so they can keep an eye on me and make sure I'm going in the right direction and we've got a bit of a City contingent here haven't we Rogers, Pervader, 
Grimshaw, yeah. I think, is that it? Maybe? Yeah, that's everyone, yeah. 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 So, did you know a few of them beforehand, or were they yeah. all at different times? No, we all actually were in the same squad, probably maybe in 19, 20 season. Mm. Um, obviously, Jan and Grimmie are a bit older than me and Morgan. Me and Morgan are the same age, but we were all in the 23s at the same time. So, yeah, it's becoming a bit of a, my ex city team. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's not all. Subscribe to Tangerine TV to watch the full thing.